Hey guys, Saito Tatsuru. Not world champion, but managed to get a silver medal. Only 20 years of age. I was anticipating this match, or his uh, his day, probably the most out of anyone, to be honest. Really hyped up in Japan to be the, the next big thing. And I definitely think, I mean, he's got a few holes in his game, a few things to clean up, but I think he, he's definitely going to be world champion at some point in the future. So we'll have a look at all his matches. Uh, I've just left the final as it is, the, in its entirety. Some people will enjoy it, some people will probably be frustrated by it, but it is what it is. And, I mean, my takeaways from Saito and, and his kind of big heavyweight debut is he's not small, he's huge, he's not weak, he's actually like really strong, he's got great defense, he never once really looked in danger, lots of people trying to drop under for drop downs to uh, spikers as an example, in the final as well, but he's got really good defense, very flexible, good movement, getting out of things, getting out of positions, and all he really needs to do, I mean he's got great techniques as well, you'll see some, some beautiful techniques that he does later on, but I think just the, the one thing that's kind of missing is maybe two things. A little bit of, of game planning, like controlling the shitos, controlling the um, the rhythm of the match. He does a really good job in the semi-final when it's two shitos apiece, golden score, and he just like puts the pressure on, puts on three good attacks, and yeah, wins the match. And he wins this one too, spectacular fashion. Awesome Harai Goshi. But this was the earlier rounds, and I think he kind of lost this tenacity, or, or I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what the word is, but lost the ability to do this later on in the final. He, I think he kind of got stuck in his ways. So that brings me to my second point. He needs to just kind of bring a bit more variety to his gripping. He's very like, okay, I'll, I'll take your lapel, okay, I'll take your sleeve. Um, if you grab my sleeve first, I'm going to put my hand up, I'm going to break the grip, and then I'm going to, you know, grab grab your lapel again. It's very, it's a little bit rudimentary. I think he needs a little bit more variety, a few surprises, and just to attack a bit more, because when he does, he he looks like he's going to score most of the time. So I think he should be proud of his, his performance. Right, so this is uh, round three now against Nova Alcantara from the Dominican Republic and I mean pay attention to him very similar to body type to who he fought in the final but a very different fight I know um, this is left versus right and the final is left versus left but still this kind of body type and I mean the body type of Saito you would think once he once he got two hands on you he would just be able to launch in like this and you know get a pretty easy Ippon I mean, that's my opinion anyway. If you've ever trained with guys this big, it's like it's being it's like being sucked in, you know? It's it's quite crazy. So getting through the third round, big Uchimata, big Haraigoshi in round two. So you know, leading with the Ipons looked pretty good at this point, and I was pretty happy. I was like, man, he's gonna win this whole thing. I started making thumbnails early, writing champion on it. Um, yeah, so quarterfinal now against Carmo, and this this is another hole. Sorry, it's probably the third thing he needs to clean up. The Newaza, I think, like a big guy like Saito, should just have like smothering Newaza, right? Or even you guys remember that choke that Yamashita used to do? I mean, that was vicious. Imagine he should just do that. He should learn how to do chokes like that, that would be incredible. Just to see, you know, people drop down for Seoi Nages because they want to, you know, it's basically the only thing a lot of these heavyweights are going to attempt to throw a Saito with. So can you imagine if he defended it here, threw that choke on, and just like tapped a guy out, it would be amazing. Big gut, you know, he's fast, squish people down, it would be the way to go. 
thing is, it, so I've cut down a lot of these fights. I mean, there, there is a lot of kind of long portions of time where not much is happening. And a lot of the action kind of started at the end of the rounds. I'm not sure if this was a game plan of Saito's or not. I do think he's got a gas tank. I think you'd be surprised. I think young guy like this, training in Japan, I mean, they never take breaks. They run in the morning, these sorts of things. I'm pretty sure he's got a good gas tank, but he was just kind of not pulling the trigger until later on. Maybe he wants to kind of figure out what his, what his opponent's trying to do. Here's this Tayatoshi that he's apparently really good at. It's his like favorite technique, something he can rely on. But I think his Tayatoshi needs a bit more work. So the sequence here. Just kind of put it onto Kamo. Nice Epon as well. And it's into Golden Score. And I mean, a part of me is like, why didn't you do this earlier? I think I think he's going to go away from this tournament and realize he can throw these guys. And he just needs a bit more urgency. Like Ono Shohei, that guy is urgent. That guy. He comes in, he puts your hands on. Either you're trying to throw him and he's not phased by it, and then when he settles, you're gone. He doesn't He doesn't settle and wait, he, he, he gets you and goes. And that's what Saito needs to do, I think. So, semi-final now against Rakhmahov, and I mean, we're already down to the 45 second marks just because it was pretty uninteresting up until this point. But what you're gonna see is once he gets into golden score, Saito just, you know, putting a lot of attacks together and, and making Rahimov look really passive. Is it Rahimov or Rachman, Rachmov? I'm thinking of the UFC fighter, Rachman Kohov or something from Kyrgyzstan? I don't know. Sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Here's that Nawazer attempt again, but he does need to work on this. I think you want to get your thigh underneath your opponent's thigh. There's ways to do that, pick them up kind of thing, slot the knee in. Once he gets them on the thigh, he should be able to roll them over pretty easy. At least he's going for something different that I don't know of. So golden score now. And this is where we're going to see him put the pressure on. Nice also the Gadi attempt. Defending well. Okay, we'll call it equal. Both of them putting in good attacks. But this is where Saito starts to... Starts to take over a bit. Double lapel grips. Forward pressure. Looking for the Ochi into the Uchimata. Up again now. This time, lapel and sleeve. A little bit of Ashiwaza. Something Saito does need to work on, a little bit more Ashiwaza. Big Haraigoshi attempt now. So that's two strong attacks in a row. Nothing from Rahimov. Going in for the Uchimata. Decent attack. And this is the thing that kind of screwed him over in the finals. He was slower there than his opponent, who was um, Ganda, Granda. He was he was much lighter, much faster than Saito, and that caused him some problems. Another big Haragoshi almost gets the score. Rakimov does well to defend, but you know, just these consistent attacks here, all looking really, really dangerous. I mean, you just have to give him a shido. And guys, we are now into the final. Yeah, let's and see if it comes off. Final. Then. It's long. Here we and go. I'm just going to put the, Grand the actual commentary on. You guys Saito can enjoy it. In blue, representing Maybe, Japan. Uh, fast forward it if it gets kind of boring for you guys, but representing boring his fight dad ends as well. on Shido's, goes into Golden Score. But I think Saito will take some things away from this. Just to, you know, th this grip here. Grand is on his sleeve. Indication he doesn't quite know what to do with it. Is because all he wants to do is break it off and go for a top grip. Saito, and all the time edging so, over into that. I think he needs corner. to yeah, yeah. sleeve a little bit. 
You don't really see that wasn't far off, off though, was it? <laughs> 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 That's the plan there. Yeah, that, that must <laughs> be the plan. Big yeah. hips right the way yeah, underneath it's there. Good eye. It's going to be hard Get him the sleeve as well. To, Get him into you know, the corner and, that, and then ambush him. He's already got a sleeve. You know what I'm saying? He's not just going to let it go lightly, is he, Grande? He's uh, going to take it. the fight. Great opportunity for like Grande. Like, subscribe. It's been a busy week. Effort. Teams tomorrow. Oh, it's great. I'm excited for that. And I'm pretty sure Japan down and load pretty pretty quickly. Sure they will want to win the thing because their, their results haven't been fabulous at this World Championships. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Peace. Just trying to change things up, Grande, and make it difficult for Saito. Here they are. This time in the near corner, but that's not part of the plan, so he's he's out of there quickly. He hasn't attacked yet, Saito, but like I say, he just wait for the right moment. That's what he's uh, doing, so it's going to be Shido. Looks like they're both going to get it. And just the one. Oh, well, they don't get that. Uh, Saito hasn't done anything. Well, the penalty was for avoiding to take a grip. Well, well. From Granda, which which was right. Whether he wants to give a penalty for passivity to Saito, who has not attacked, quite right. Well, he's still to attack yet, yeah. uh, Saito. Granda, is he going to put another one in? I think he might just uh, disappear underneath him any second now. It's when that left arm go comes over the top. Well, it's got to be a, a penalty now for uh, Saito. It is. So he gets one. poised and waiting for a, the launch of a big technique they don't care who it comes from <laughs> just want to see a big finish well again when that big left arm comes over that's when Granda decides to uh, go underneath there Already three minutes gone. Just not enough action from Saito for me. No, just uh, need him to uh, liven up a bit. Very clever as well. Just the Saito was shaping for an attack. Andy Grander got one in. to generate some offense here and give him so much leeway a pair of them really well tell me the attacks that uh, Saito has done it's quite remarkable really I mean the, the time's almost gone there if you could count the uh, techniques he's done on one hand mum up there in the stands Watching a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might just go for boy. There. Yeah. <laughs> like any parent, just uh, you don't want them to get hurt. <laughs> Ochi Gary now, then. He's done an Ochi Gary. There's the Ashi uh, Garuma.
any score now on the board will win it. Uh, two more Shido's to either one. And it will be all over. Heavyweight Championships of the world, the plus 100 kilos category. Oh, and underneath there, good attack there by Granda. Well, I think he's going to get another Shido on the board here, Saito. So he will have to, he'll have to now attack, otherwise he's going to lose this by a third Shido. Nobody wants to see a world final decided on Shidos. But if it is uh, going to be like that, Now, oh, so to Gary, that's better. Let's just get that little bit closer, I think, Saito. Still only 20. Saito. I thought you were talking about Grander then. <laughs> Grand has been around a little while. Oh, he's ten years his senior. Yeah, big chance here for Grander if he just uh, puts the attacks in here, makes sure that he's first in every time. And uh, away he goes. So now it's about pace. He's got to fire back now. He'll have to fire back. The Cuban coach absolutely begging for the hand soccer Mackey. Yeah, it's got to be a proper attack, though. Come on, you've got to decide what is a proper attack. And that's it's it. It's all over. He's lost it. Grand, it's going to be the world champion. I'm just looking at De Dennis Van der Geest uh, just in front of me here, and he's going, "What? What is going down here?" <laughs> Can't understand why he's not attacking there, and uh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, I'd. I don't understand that either. You know, you just look at that and you go, well, how is that? Uh, 